What's going on guys? Welcome to another vlog. And pretty much I'm just going to update you guys right now. Um, the past week, yeah, I've still had videos come out. I'm still doing that like Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday um, deal. But I've actually been sick like the past five days. Um, I've had the stomach flu. I've had food poisoning. Um, it's just been horrible. I've been in my room. Like literally, I have some footage that, I, that needed to be edited. And of course, I'm going to catch up on that this week um, for a video that's going out Thursday. I'm already done with Tuesday's video. Um, today's Sunday, by the way. And I had a video go out today. And that was like fishing on Lanier. That was a vlog. But um, I couldn't even edit the footage. Like I just felt so bad. So lethargic. Just feeling like I want to throw up and just go to the bathroom all the time. It was just horrible. I had to get to the hospital one night because I was shaking really bad. I was uh, I was like shivering so bad and it was just like I was shaking. It was horrible. Um, so I had to get to the hospital. Just tons of bad stuff. But guys, I'm feeling a little better now. And right now, I mean, that happened like Monday or Tuesday. And right now, Sunday. So it's been about a week. And right now, honestly, I'm not feeling the best. And should I be going out and fishing right now? Probably not. But <laughs> I want to get some footage for you guys. And um, I just want to get out there and actually fish because I've been fishing in a week anyway. So I'm kind of wanting to get out there anyways. And yesterday, I had prom. So I had to go to that anyways. And that made me feel pretty much a lot better. I got out of the house and got moving around and um, you know that was good and everything. So um, yeah, my stomach's just a little messed up right now, but there's, that's no big deal. Repping the uh, new Kick in Their Bass TV shirt. This is the gray one. Um, you guys can go check that out on my site. The, the link will be below. And this is my newest one that I came out with. The new logo shirts will be coming out very soon. The new hats are gonna be coming out very soon. The Team Kick in Their Bass TV stickers and hats. I have so many ideas that are about the release. Um, and I'm very excited for that. Um, but yeah, guys, we're gonna go hit up a pond today and uh, let's go ahead and get out of this house. Before I leave the house, um, shout out to Bass Dynasty. You know, I'm on, on their pro stuff now. And so uh, they sent me out. If you guys all know what they are, go, you can go look them up on Instagram. They have plenty of pages. You can go follow them and look at their stuff. Um, but they make pretty much a lot of fish attractants and all kinds of stuff. Um, and I do not, the fish attractants are in the garage right now. It's just really, I'm not going to keep that around the house because it's just a little smelly. It's for the fish and everything. So, um, <laughs> I don't have that inside, but let's go ahead and hit up the pond. All right, guys, just got to the pond and today, honestly, I'm probably just going to like tie on a frog or something and just just have a little bit of fun i might not catch that many fish but let's see what we can do on a frog today all right so guys this is the guy i'm going to be going with this little i believe it's a lunker on frog look at the legs on that thing here's a live target i can't exactly remember but look at that it's got some good action on it just hopefully those fish aren't going to just swipe at the legs hopefully they'll eat the whole thing it's a lunker hunt. It's a lunker hunt frog. Looks pretty realistic. Guys, there's a turtle in there. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I could... It was on this stump that I usually fish. A big old rock. Big old stump. And all I see is big. I, I can't tell if it was a head or not. But I'm not even kidding. This shell was about this big. And his head was just sticking up. It was just, like, blending in with that. That was weird. That was really weird. I, I, thought, I didn't think it was a turtle for a second. And then I was like, oh, my God, is that a turtle? Jesus I cannot believe how good this frog looks and I won't bite it. I'm probably just going to go tie something else on um, and maybe go back around with the frog, but I really wanted to catch him on a frog, but let's just see. Let's see what else I have in my box and uh, let's just try to fish this area because it's the most productive area right over here and in that corner. So I just know that, I mean, I need to fish it more effectively, probably with a different bait, but let's see what I can tie on to catch him. All right, guys, I'm just going to go if I get... I'm gonna try like a little shaky head out here because I haven't really fished that much. I got a pond here in a while. 
That's what I used all these fish all the time. So let's just try it. Let's try it. Switching from a frog to a shaky head. What's going on? That's messed up. But I'm sure it's going to catch us some fish. So I guess we'll see how that goes. I got this June bug worm I'm throwing on here. Usually works really good in this pond. So I guess we'll see how that goes. And I kind of want to check this out deep too. Out deep in the middle of the lake. See if I can maybe see if there's some good ones out there or stuff like that. There we go, guys. There we go. I was actually hopping that worm. Little tiny bass. And he just grabbed it and took off with it. He like that little June bug worm. Look at that. Little guy choked it. I know you guys saw me. He, I didn't even let him have it. It was like I was just hopping it. And he just took it and ran off with it. Look at his little man. Really nice colors though. On that June bug shaky head. I was just hopping it there's so much of that grass and stuff and he just grabbed that thing oh god man he ate it good look at you man look at you fighting Ooh, little tiny dude for some reason, that thing hit the heck out of it. Look at them choking it. It's like when they eat it, I haven't got that many bites on it to be honest, but like when they're eating it, they're really choking this thing real good. I mean, look how small this guy is. It's nothing special, nothing big, but I mean, look at that guy. He just chomped that thing. I need your mama. I'm gonna tell your mama to bite. I need a big old five pounder. Little guy. Oop, did a little trick. Ooh, look at him jumping. Look at you jumping. That's a better one. It's better than the last two. Definitely. And you came off. Stop it. Stop it. Yeah, a little better than the other two guys, but uh, there's some little like rocks out there. I threw to where I thought they were, and he just picked it up, started bopping at it. Not a big fish, but better than the last two. They're getting better. There you go. First one on this weightless trick worm. Finally got one. One just was, one just kept biting it. There you go guys, he ate it pretty good. Fell on the ticket. I'm just pretty much throwing it out there. Letting it kind of sit, moving every once in a while. And they'll just come up and eat it. Pretty little fish. Guys, I, I'm not even happy. This is awesome. I think I just found a new good way of this pond to catch some fish. Guys, literally, like, uh, come here, little guy. Gosh, he's the fisher hyper. But literally, guys, when these fish are biting it, I, I don't even have my line all the way tight. I just still have it, still have some slack in my line. And these fish, right when they hit it, like you just feel like a little tick. And right when they hit it, I'm already feeling it through my rod, um, which is really crazy. I mean, that, that just shows the sensitivity on the rod. 
And um, at the end of this video, I'll go over just pretty much what rod I'm using and everything. But that really, that really <laughs> amazes me right there because I really couldn't tell really how sensitive that was until until about then. That shows you really how sensitive this rod is. Because, I mean, seriously, guys, without the line being in slack and still feeling it that great, I mean, that's pretty crazy. I already know when they bite. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. The colors on these fish are absolutely amazing. I've never seen fish, especially out of a pond. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, the color... This fish, look at this fish. I, I've never seen the colors on a fish. This, this is amazing. Wait till you guys see this. Look at um, look at the colors on this fish. Look at this. God, he ate it good. Guys, look. I mean, look at the colors on that thing. That is insane. And this is out of a pond. It does not, I mean, it just amazes me. Nothing big, I mean, but look at the colors. That just shows how healthy these fish are. Amazing. Let this little guy go. Yep. <laughs> oh my God, guys. It's crazy. I can just feel him just barely tick that thing. Just barely pick that thing up. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Not fat at all. He needs, he needs to get some meat on his bones. Ooh, there you go. He's trying to get some meat. He's trying to eat. Little skinny guy. On that weightless worm. There we go. There we go, guys. I didn't even have to move this one. I just threw it out there and you had it. Right in the back of his mouth. Oop, there we go. Little guy here on the other side of the lake. Come on, you gonna do a trick? Let's see if he does a trick. Oh. Here we go. Been a minute. Nice little bass. Little bit of bass. Right there. Right in the top of your mouth. Whoop. There you go. Nice little pretty bass. Alright guys, I might as well talk about pretty much my rod and reel and what I'm using right now so pretty much the rod that I'm using I would really recommend like for the setup that I'm using right now is any really like medium heavy you can use a heavy but this right here is actually a heavy and this is a Kuma Helios and notice this isn't the TCS the TCS is the blue rod the regular Kuma Helios is actually the green rod and I have it paired up with an Akuma Helios reel and this is seven three to one gear ratios and uh I am using 15 pound line and <clears throat> the worm that I'm gonna that I'm throwing is just a regular zoom trick worm in June bug color and I had that on just a regular trick worm uh, straight worm hook so I'm pretty much just throwing it out there and letting it get a good good decent cast out there just letting that thing sink you know every once in a while kind of move it but rather than that just keeping that thing still and those bass just tear it up let's get a little close to the water action shot of this dude there it goes well guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video um, yeah today was a little bit different just because I actually use a chest mount and just something a little bit different but um, if you guys enjoyed that and you guys like the chest mount, definitely leave a comment below if you guys want to see more of that. But guys, today's a perfect example for like the fish weren't wanting to bite that well. You know, I threw that frog. I really wanted a frog fish. I really wanted to catch them on a frog, but they just did not want to eat that. So I adjusted to it. I changed to something different. I changed to a shaky head. 
it wouldn't even bite that that well. So I even changed to a weightless worm and then I started getting bites, started catching some fish, produced some fish. So uh, worked on the fish really well, we caught some fish and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you guys wanna check out some of the new gray Kicking Their Bass TV shirts, I'll leave a link in the description that you guys can click on and go check that out. Um, thank you guys, everybody that's purchased some of my clothing that have joined the nation. And um, I just really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that like button. I'll catch you guys in the next video.